Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you again today. And I've been requesting, um, requested to do uh, a couple of things. First of all, um, once you've collected your coupons and once you've looked at my uh, video that is basically an introduction to couponing, what do you do then? So, I'm going to address that with this um, video right now. And also, while we're at it, um, incorporate some tips about trying to do a coupon binder. Now, many of you just get that, you know, the little cheap one that you can get from the dollar store, Target, or wherever. And those are great for couponers. However, if you're trying to take it up a notch and you're going to consider yourself somewhat of an extreme couponer and you want to um, be organized as well as possible and also um, have a system that you've developed for yourself to maximize A, your savings, and B, your time, then you're going to want to invest in getting a binder, okay? So, this binder can be just a regular notebook. You can get it from Walmart, Staples, um, Target, wherever. And you want to get a big binder. You want to get one that's about one or one and a half, like this. You want to get one like that. This one says it can hold 400 sheets, which is great. Um, I got this from um, Staples. But again, you can get it from wherever you like. Um, I paid about $5 for this. And I like this one because it has, A, it has a lot of pockets. Um, it has these little clear pockets on the outside of each side. Then on the inside, it has three pockets. And I don't know if you can see them. Three pockets. It's like three layers of pockets. Okay. And then it's another. So it's three pockets that you can place whatever you need in there. Also, it comes free with these tabs, which is great if you wanted to use them as your dividers. Um, and these pockets are repeated on this side as well. Okay, so the pockets are repeated again up here. And I utilize my pockets for making sure I have several things in my binder at all times. Again, it just makes it easier for me and it's less time consuming. And I'm, I wind up actually being a more efficient couponer this way. So I actually keep a pair of good scissors. And you want a good pair of scissors. It doesn't cost a lot of money to get a good pair. You can get them from Dollar Tree. But you don't want the kind that's going to get stuck. The reason for this is because when we're string couponer, we are cutting like anywhere between 6 um, to 12 papers at one time. And what you want to do is you want to be able to whip through that as much as possible and as quickly as possible because we do have other things going on in our life. Children waiting for meals. Husband's waiting for attention. Um, so, you know, kids waiting for homework to get help with. So, yeah, you want to definitely make sure that your time is not being consumed by couponing. And if you do it the way I'm doing it and the, the tips that I'm giving you, you guys, you do not have to spend all day couponing, okay? Especially with the videos that I do weekly, um, I do that so it won't be time consuming for you. And since I have to do it for myself anyway, I just go ahead and do it on camera. Okay, that's get making it so that you guys that are busy, you don't have to physically sit down, lay out all your papers, try to match up your coupons. You don't have to do that. Look at my video, make notes. You know which ones, what coupons to go to, what ad to go to, and which which coupon to use at what place, and then it's self-explanatory at that point. But back to what I always make sure I keep in here. We already addressed the scissors. I like to keep a highlighter as well. Um, the highlighter is because sometimes I like to highlight um, so that it's easier in my binder to see it. Um, I like to highlight the dates on the first layer of coupons. And I say the first layer is because I usually have anywhere between 6 and 12 coupons of the same coupon. So what I do is when I put it in my binder, um, you know, by it being a stack of the same coupon, what I do is the first one, the first, the top layer one, I like to highlight the date. That way when I'm breezing through, my eye automatically goes to if it's expired or not. Okay? And I can do my my meal planning as well as my 
uh, planning for around my ads accordingly very quickly at that you want to keep an ink pen so that you can make your list of the items that you're going to get for that week for that ad um, and the other thing is some tape and the reason why I have tape is because as you all know since I get several papers I like to keep a ad one of the ads for each place such as Walgreens CVS and Rite Aid and also some local food, food markets and what I do is I tape strategically making sure I don't use the tape around the barcode and around the um, manufacturer or the date of the expiration of the coupon I tape my coupons I'm going to use for that place or that store onto what I call the master copy of my ad and that master copy is the one that I'm going to take into the store and by them all being taped to the ad I don't have to worry about having the uh, I don't have to worry about misplacing my coupons or anything like that because they automatically tape to that ad so I know which ones I'm going in there so I'm going in there with a agenda and I'm making sure I reach my agenda um, by taping all the coupons so that's the need for the tape um, as far as the holders what I actually recommend is that you get dividers for one and I got these at Staples for a quarter and they're plastic they're hard plastic okay so they're not going to tear these are great because um, you can section off your coupons now what I actually recommend is that you section your coupons off either a by the aisle meaning dairy um, frozen fruit um, meat box items soups and salads or soups and um, or condiments or whatever whatever you like to do make sure your system is divided as 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 clear as possible so that when you're in these aisles even if you're just looking in the advertiser or the advertisement you're able to basically whip through and automatically know okay all that I'm looking at right now in this section is going to be frozen food all that I'm looking at in this section is going to be all the box items so it's easier for you again maximizing your time in that way so you can do the dividing whichever way you like but that's how I actually recommend that you do it secondly as far as the protective sheets a lot of people get these baseball protective sheets and you get like um I've heard through Grapevine because um, I couldn't find them in Staples and stuff like that. But I heard Target has them for like $3 and you get maybe about 20 or whatever. Well, to maximize my savings, I even wanted to save as far as with my binder. And I got all of these sheets. And as you can see, it's a lot of them. I got all of these sheets for $7, $6.99. And it's probably about 200 sheets, you guys. And they don't have sections. These are regular sheet protectors. Um, you get them in a box and they come 200 or 100 at a time um, I got the big box which was 200 for $6.99 and the only problem is that your coupons may slide around in here as you can see my coupons in my protective sheet is not totally perfect and straight however once you put enough in there they won't really move with so much and it's still great to have because you can um get a whole bunch of them for a really low price so that was what I was mainly worried about um, I would have liked if I can get 200 sheets uh, for you know 699 of the baseball card kind because they are quite easier but if I can't then that was fine with me one second you guys hey what's that I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's terrible. Okay, well, let me call you right back because I'm in the middle of doing a video so people can know how to use these binders okay
All right, bye-bye. That was daddy, you guys. Anyway, um, like I said, I would love to have gotten 200 of those baseball card sheets for $6.99, but that's not going to happen. For about $6, I probably can get about 40 of those sheets. Well, I got 200 And like I said, although they're not going to be totally neat, if you put enough in there, they will be, as you can see. I'm kind of anal about things. So if it works for me, trust me, it will work for you guys. Because I am the type of person I have to visually, it has to be neat. It has to be some kind of order to it. As you can see, you see I slid around in there. It still, it still works, you guys. And I still have a lot of pages that are left that don't even have any um, sheets that just has sheets in them that's just plain okay so I can add two alright so what I also do is I love these pockets because they're great to use as far as the items that you're going to use for that day as well if you don't want to use the idea of taping your coupons to the ad this is a great thing to do because if you do want to take your whole binder into the store which shouldn't be a problem because most of our purses can almost fit a binder. So it's not, not like nobody really notices it. It really doesn't matter if they do. Um, you know. But you can put the coupons that you're going to use inside of the plastic pouch in the front. Or in the back. You can also place in the back. Um, maybe the front have the coupons. And in the back, you can place your ad for your store that you're in. But I always, every week, make sure in my binder I have... A copy since I have several papers I wound up having like C six CVS copies of their ad um, six Rite Aid six Walgreens so I just keep one as my master and I keep one inside of this at all times every week I make sure I take it out okay so that way if I want to reference back to anything or if anybody asks me any questions because I get a lot of questions with couponing um, they can, I can always just go right back to my ad. I don't have to search around again. Time, making sure you're wise with your time. Searching for stuff and being unorganized, people don't understand it actually takes more time to be unorganized than it does to be organized. So, if that makes sense to you guys, I hope it did. Um, I hope that this helps you guys. Um, I tried to fit everything in one video. Um, obviously, I wasn't able to. The next video will be on the tips. So, this video was specifically regarding the binder how to organize your binder what to actually um, do to maximize your time and your money with your binder and also how to even save on buying items for your binder so i thank you all for viewing thank you all for commenting love you so much be blessed